Hey guys, Mike with Daily Life. So, it's been a while since we've been out in the kayaks, man. It's, uh, me and Ray were definitely missing it. It's been a couple months. It got really cold and the fishing just hasn't been good. And right now, it's low tide. Tide should start coming back in and hopefully get on some fish. Don't really know what's gonna be here. Our goal is like redfish or big snook, but um, we got some live shrimp, some lures we're gonna throw. Hopefully we have a good day. So, the tide is so low right now. We just had to paddle around. All that, there's actually someone's dog running around on the sandbar, tied so low. So we, we decided to stop and take a paddle break and walk. It's beautiful out here though, man. If you ever get in uh, Southwest Florida, I recommend Boca Grande for sure. Beautiful area. So we're trying to get to our spot and then we're gonna get to fishing. Stay tuned. So we made it to what's usually our pretty good fishing spot. Fish, uh, they tend to come around this little island by the trestle for the railroad, the little railroad tracks. They come around and then they usually sit underneath this lip waiting for, um, for bait fish. It's like this little shelf there. So, but it's low tide, so <laughs> the water's murky, which is, isn't usual. And it's just not a very great fishing day. I don't know, we're gonna get on some fish at some point. <laughs> Finally caught something, it was just a little snapping. I didn't get to record, but I, I had a pompano on earlier. It popped off right at the boat. Tide's coming in, that's a good sign. Fish is not quite a little, there's a little snapper. A little mangrove, nothing big. But, most I've caught in a while, so I have been. Got something on again, it feels like a mangrove. Real small, oh yeah. Just a little guy. Damn, that was a big shrimp I had on there too. Hooked through the tail. There he is, another little guy. Another snapper. Still not big enough. Man, we are getting nothing but mangroves, but Ray just got a nice sheephead over there. If you can see him, he's dealing with that. Nice sheephead though. Uh, I'd hope to get one myself. Oh, still mad at that pompano that got away. That'll haunt me for the rest of the day if I don't get anything else. Ray just got another sheephead. I'm gonna have to move my setup. Looks like we're targeting sheephead. Oh, that's not a, that's neither. It, oh, it is a sheep pit. Oh, it's a drum, black drum. <laughs> Little black drum. <laughs> cool little guy, man. Little black drum. I don't eat these guys. I mean, he looks a little, eh, a little too small anyways, but cool fish. That's a good sign, man. I really love a redfish today. That was kind of our goal in the first place, but here it is. It's a nice release. Let's let him get nice and big. Cool. That is a beast of a sheep head. Dude, Ray just caught a monster sheep. Oh, damn. There you go, man. I gotta get some beta back out there, man. He's getting all the shit. I gotta say, man, I'm not catching any redfish or snook like I wanted, but this is a hell of a day. It's been, it was real cold in Florida for a while and fishing was just dead. Like the cold, all the fish left with the cold and now it's warming up. It just feels real good to be back in the kayak. I think I'm getting bites right now. But even if I don't bring home fish, man, it feels really good to be back out here. Finally got something decent on. Feels like a sheep head. Just go and eat. Lose them. Oh shit. I might need help.
<laughs> yup, got a sheep head. And then I'm pretty sure I got a shark on this one. Oh. Yeah. This is crazy. It's real and ain't easy though. Yeah. I don't I'm a little worry. Oh yeah, it's a bonnet head. <laughs> oh, we'll see. Well, you're not gonna see this every day. So, I wasn't catching anything, and now I got a sheep head and a bonnet head shark on at the same time. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. I'm gonna loosen this drag, put him up here, get that out of the way. I know this looks ridiculous. This is the first time I've caught a shark from my kayak. He's a little guy, but. He's still got teeth. There he is. Nice bonnet. I gotta put that uh, sheep head in your cooler. Little bonnet head shark. They're fun to catch. Check him out. So. All right, that got a little chaotic. I, I haven't had a bite. Like all afternoon, and then all of a sudden I get this on, and I had a big shrimp, I threw it out that way, got a bonnet head shark on, so I wasn't getting much, and it turned out to be a good day after all. Here's my sheep head. I'm gonna put him in Ray's cooler, because I don't have mine. All right, that was nuts. I hope my uh, copo got that okay. I didn't realize I had, it was like salt water or something all over my lens. But that caught me off guard, man. I didn't even, I, I don't think I've ever had sheep head in a, Barney had shark hooked up at the same time from a kayak. Was got a little got a little hectic, but got under control. Sheep heads in a cooler. Good to go. Man, it is beautiful out here. Fish kind of stopped biting. We're getting at, we're at a midday, and you know. Anybody who fishes knows midday is just terrible for fishing. But, you know, it's too nice to go home quite yet. Please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Oh, honey, though our friendship ceases from now on. So, I'm going to show you the biggest advantage to kayak fishing right now. Now, some people are like, oh, you got to lug all that stuff around, but you know what? We're doing a lot better than these people. All those people on the pier just stuck there, you know, competing with each other to catch a couple fish. We got it made. This is beautiful, man. We can go wherever we want on minimal cost and get some exercise. Not too bad.